Hello everybody, I'm Gabi and this is Gabi Tech. In today's video we're gonna take a look at one computer that already looks amazing but we will make it even more amazing with Damian. Hi guys! This is his computer. A very beautiful system with hard tubing and it looks amazing but he tells that there is some scratches and stuff that he wants to fix and that's why in today's video we're gonna do removing of this tubing and replacing them. The first step that we need to do obviously is drain the system. So let's start draining. need to open space to change the pump mm -hmm. uh, you know here and uh, to leave the district plate empty for the CPU ports to be empty so we can later put the new tubes there so mm -hmm. what we'll do right now okay so uh, what we need to do right now is something which is not really beautiful but it's part of the process. So toilet paper is the most important thing about water cooling, believe me. This I is, know, yeah. This is the most important tool. So right now what's going on because this distro plate is uh, working, let's say it like that, every port follows the previous one. So right now we've, uh, we've let air go into the system and uh, what's going on, we've drained the distro but uh, right now the liquid from the other components is getting back into the distro. You see how bubbles mm -hmm. are uh, coming from the bottom radiator which is here on the bottom part of the case and we have a slimmer radiator top here. The, uh, those radiators are both uh, 360, the bottom one is 45 millimeters thick, the upper one is uh, 30 millimeters, not milliliters. Yeah. <laughs> Actually what we have to do is uh, we we'll have to blow into the system literally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is really... Like, like draining a fish tank. Yeah, it's, uh, but it's part of the process if you ask me. So yeah, let's not get really messy here. That's very clean, I wouldn't say that's messy. Oh no, no, it, it will become messy, believe me. Yeah, uh, you have to be very careful all the time because uh, the, this is plexi, uh, most of the parts here that you see. You can scratch them really easy and uh, then things are uh, not looking pretty well. Also, what's really important is uh, to clean all the times because uh, you can have some droplets running down from the components, you know, which is not really good. Uh, let's see if we can drain some more. It takes some time. Taking apart the whole system, uh, we need to make sure that... Uh, everything is drained? Yeah, everything is drained. As you, as you can see, it's still draining. You can see the bubbles coming up. You see? Yeah, so we have much more work to do with the draining. <laughs> oh my god, this will take time. At least you don't shake it like me. Why we're draining the system so slowly is because we haven't obeyed one really important rule. When you pu put your draining port, you need to put it in the most bottom part of the liquid cooling system. The radiator is uh, lower than the oh, draining than port. This, than this port, you know. And right now, what's happening is uh, we wait from the air from the radiator to very slowly push the liquid out of the system. Mm -hmm. you know, oh, system. if you say your water cooling system is problem, come see mine. It's uh... actually if we had uh, if the whole system was with soft tubes, uh, that would be very quickly to do because uh, you can. You can disconnect the soft tubing very quickly, you know, and uh, you can disconnect them pipe by uh, at a time, you know, and you can push air through them, and uh, we can do the whole thing in two to three minutes, you know. But really? Right now, can we? Yeah, we can. But if you're careful when you're disconnecting all the pipes from the components, because I don't you remember can. taking me only two three minutes draining my computer. Uh, in Bulgaria, supply of water cooling components, parts, consumer uh, consuming stuff and things like that is really hard to find. Really? Yeah, and uh, I'm buying 99% of my stuff, like fittings and everything from Germany, from Aqua Computer. They're really good guys and uh, they speak English, believe me, it's not a problem working with them. They have good prices, which is important also. You're in very good terms with them. Yeah, they know me very well, you know. I'm almost friends with them. I'm buying so much stuff from them. You see everything here, Ofku, 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 Ikea, and Zoom over there. there. Everything here is from them, so 
You're really enthusiastic. Yeah. Also, you can buy stuff directly from Alpha Course website. They're also very friendly, very good guys. But uh, Aqua Tuning, uh, Aqua Computer, or whatever, this is the same thing. You know, they have all the brands there, so it's uh, easier to buy from them. So, yeah. Okay, I love your distro plate, it's so beautiful. Yeah, I don't love it so much, so it's good because it's very difficult to work with, believe me. But isn't it more clean looking if you use distro plate? Yeah, but... Uh, because, you know, if you use reservoir, it looks so... Okay, we try now to push some air into the system. I use Again. a soft tube fitting because, you know, I can cannot put my head <laughs> You can put even the collar if you like, you know, to tighten it up if you're worried that it may go out, but it's not necessary really. And you need to make sure because when you uh, try to compress the air into the system, you need to make sure that the bleed valve is closed because you know it will. Mm. Yeah, we can spray the camera from here, which is not a good stuff, you know. And we need to start. <laughs> this is why you need to put the draining port in the most bottom part of the system, but. Unfortunately, this is the way this distro How much works. is this liquid that you use? What is this brand? This is Aqua Deep. Computer. Uh -huh. You need to use the most basic premix. Okay, so what we need to do right now is to start disassembling the whole system. What I'll do is I will take uh, the soft tubing out first. Actually, we can do something which will, you know, eliminate some risk here. And this is to remove the GPU. <laughs> The GPU is live. So, we expect some water to come out from here, we'll see. This was open from the back. Oh shit! Okay, so mm -hmm. what we've done here, uh, I've I've should have blown air through the other port, and you see that's why we have paper. Here. Yeah, this is a very amateur mistake, but it can happen to anyone. So the motherboard is dry, which is important. This is a very rookie mistake and it can, it can happen to anyone. So we will remove also the other. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So in okay. Put the CPU block, still has liquid in it. We try to drain it. We had a couple of droplets go off. It's not a problem, it's perfectly normal. In theory, if you keep uh, those two tubes high at this point, you won't get uh, liquid coming out from the bottom parts. So, uh, we need to find a way to drain the CPU block be before taking it off. Just a second. That's why I don't drain. I haven't done maintenance from one year probably, you know? That. You know, I've done this like a hundred times and you can still see that mistakes happen. hundred times? Yeah. I did it once and I hated my life and I said I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> really? Yes. To drain the CPU block in. Uh, drain a CPU block. Yeah, again Alpha Cool, you know. I see. Alpha Cool sponsor me. Yeah, actually it's a dressable <laughs> RGB block. Of course. But my motherboard doesn't support any RGB. That's horrible. Yeah. Why? Because it's old one. Because when I bought it there wasn't RGB, nobody knew what RGB is, you know. No, everything is RGB. RGB for life. Yeah, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> As you say.
Do you want more paper? I told you. Yeah. Thank you. We don't have any electronics here, which is okay. But I told you that things will get Kampunira, messy. Yeah. yeah, those these two plates are looking fine, but they're you know they're not really ergonomic. <laughs> they're not really made for you know for easy maintenance and things like that. But your motherboard still looks nice. I mean, it's beautiful. Yeah, but it doesn't have RGB, so. I wish this the red stuff there were shining. It would look more cool. <laughs> Thank you.